Today I'm going to show you how to cook to perfection a bison steak using the cast iron. And remember, if I can cook it, so can you. So go nowhere. Let's create. This is a bison top round steak. It is a little bit over one and a half pounds, to be more precise, 1.54 pounds, and roughly one and a half inches thick. This one I purchased here in Virginia, and I went to a bison farm. They raised bisons for meat, and the name of the farm is Cibola Farm. They have fantastic bison meat. And a lot of people don't know this about bison. But bison actually is a very, very nutritious meat. Uh, they are very lean. And when you compare them to beef, chicken, even the chicken without the skin, and you compare them with lamb and with pork, bison has more proteins. Uh, their fat is lower, they have lower calories, and their cholesterol is lower. Also, you can even compare them with salmon, and they have the same advantage against salmon. I think yak, J-A-K, might be one of the few uh, meats that I know that might give them a run for their money. But, the, you know, there might be others there too, but when you compare a bison with the traditional everyday meats, uh, including chicken and including um, salmon, bison is perhaps and arguably more nutritious. So I pat it dry already. And one thing, if you have it out of the refrigerator, make sure it's out for about half an hour so the heat can transfer easier. And that way uh, you get the uh, kind of room temperature. And the only thing I'm going to do here, I'm going to use sea salt. And this one is fine, F-I-N-E, relatively fine. And I'm going to use some black ground pepper. I'm keeping it simple because I want to taste this delicious meat. And you're going to do the same on the other side. You're going to do it on both sides. Also going to grab a tofu of garlic, fresh garlic. And I'm going to mince a little bit just to bring the nice wild flavor of the garlic. You don't have to put a lot, just a little bit. Rub it up. Once again, you're going to do the same on the other side. You notice I have a big fat here. It's up to you, you want to cook it with that. But one thing you might want to do, if you decide to cut it, you can trim it out. And then what you do with it is you uh, put it aside in the refrigerator. Or you can even freeze it and you can use it for, um, for stews like beans or things like that. So put in this. Get it back because I'm going to cook some... Uh, beans with it, you know, stew, so whatever. So I had a cast iron, and what I did is I preheat the cast iron without oil. I just preheat it for about two minutes at high heat. Then I reduce the heat to medium high, and I added the extra virgin olive oil. And then a few seconds later, I added the bison Take. The reason I preheat the cast iron is because it takes a little bit of time for the 
heat to distribute toward the entire cast iron. That was the only reason I preheated uh, the uh, metallurgic properties of cast iron uh, is telling us that it requires a little bit of time for the heat to distribute evenly throughout the entire cast iron. And because this is a relatively thick steak, bison steak, I decided to cook this side for about three minutes. Noting that bison, due to its, its leanness, because it's very lean, it's going to cook a little bit fast. But it's a thick uh, piece of bison uh, steak. So I cook this side for three minutes. What I'm going to do is I'm going to flip it. Be careful. <laughs> you have beautiful look. I'm going to put some time just to get some aromatic. A little bit of butter. So I put some of the juice on top. Look how beautiful. See how beautiful it's looking? What you going to do? You're going to take it out. I cook it for about three minutes too. That's estimated, I didn't keep track. What you're going to do is you're going to get it out. And I'm letting it rest for about 10 minutes. So I'm steaming some corn and green beans. And I am going to roast an onion, which I cut in half, and garlic. 